For this week's episode, we've got T-Bird from Stylin' Strings. Everybody knows this guy. He's got a beautiful face, big biceps. He can also string a great pocket. Stylin' String guys have been doing an unbelievable job with custom sticks, custom pockets for years. Obviously, they are a founding member of String League. We couldn't be happier to have them involved. But for this week's episode, we're going to throw it over to T-Bird to lay down the challenge. What's going on guys, my name is T-Bird from Style and & Strings and welcome to String League Season 3. At Style & Strings, we've been making the Women's Ladder Channel for multiple years now and we've recently rolled it into a men's option. So now what we want to see you do is take that same concept, make your own center channel and then string that into a Laco to you. However you do that outside of making the center channel is up to you. So first prize for our challenge, we'll get their own pocket featured on StyleAndStrings.com You'll also make commissions off of that, which means you'll be our first sponsored stringer. You'll also get three t-shirts and a discount card good for the entire year. So second place, you're gonna take home two t-shirts, another gift card good for the entire year, as well as Instagram shout outs and features. If you come in third, we're gonna give you a t-shirt, a discount card, and we'll still give you those Instagram shout outs. What's going on everybody? Tyler Bortner here representing Style and Strings for String Week Season 3, Week 3. This week we had a lot of great entries, uh, probably the best that I've seen the entire season so far. Here's how I got them stacked up, 1 through 6. I got Taylor Smoke coming in at number 6. Uh, I got him placed there because kind of the center leather design I'm not really a big fan of. The three leather, two on the outside and one, one on down the middle. Well executed everywhere else. I loved the cardboard and tray uh, construction of the center channel. Great, uh, great use there. Just not a fan of that center point and it looks like the connections kind of wiggle around a little bit uh, when you're playing and kind of make the pocket get a little bit messy over time. So I got him at number six. At number five, I got Chris Deal. Uh, the reason I got him at number five is kind of the material usage. Um, the creativity was there. The corset theme was awesome. Um, I know what you were trying to do with the thinner string, uh, kind of make it like the corset ties, but uh, overall execution, I don't know if I would have used that string in particular, maybe use something a little bit thicker, like cross lace, just stay standard. Um, the construction of the center channel itself was great. Uh, the pocket string was great, symmetrical, everything was awesome, but just kind of the material usage and punching the holes in the leathers might lead to that thin string ripping that leather over time. All right, number four, Matt Simpson with his Lakota strung up uh, with an absolutely great center channel. Again, all of these are awesome. Uh, the reason I got him at number four is because more of his overall pocket in general, uh, it's got a lot of string in it. It's kind of heavier. Um, I love the gutted lace running for the rest of the pocket. The white lace is actually uh, a sidewall or cross lace, I'm not sure which one, but he, I can tell he took the center cord out and just used the casing to string. Uh, very useful technique, very well thought of and innovative. I like that. I thought it could have used some shooting strings to kind of tie it all together and maybe bump me up a spot or two. So at number three, we have Chris Burke from Mainly Mesh. The reason I loved his center channel, I've never seen anything designed quite this way. It was an awesome design. The cross lace crosses in and out and around the leathers, makes some great connection points. Um, I thought that could have been improved if the connection point on the inner leather was beefed up a little bit so it didn't slide and maybe scrunch it up a little bit and put one more diamond in to keep it kind of a more uh, smooth, free-flowing, easy release pocket. Kind of looks like it might sit in there and kind of throw a little bit sloppy over time. Great overall design. Awesome, awesome job. All right, and coming in at number two, I have Phil Pierce with a Rocket Pocket-ish inspired design. I thought he did an awesome job constructing this pocket with the zigzag asymmetrical center and then his aggregate pocket around that really, really tied that together. Uh, well executed. I love the connections on the outer leathers, uh, something I've never seen before. Uh, Phil, amazing job. And that leaves top dog to Richie Bennett. 
with this insanely intricate ladder-ish inspired design. I don't know how long it took him to do this, but props to you. It is amazing. The detail, the symmetry, the tensioning is everything that I was looking for in this challenge. Um, the design could have been more original, but the detail, the attributes of this pocket, just the entire string around that center channel, top notch. Richie B, you get number one. The competition is coming in hot. It's crazy. We've seen some pockets that I didn't ever think could be strong. Very impressive stuff. But there can only be one winner. So let's see where everybody's sitting right now on the String League leaderboard. some of that yellow sidewall. Yeah. Ooh, actually on second thought, that lime green looks good. Let's go with that. Well, I don't know. The white seems nice and clean. Maybe I should go with white. Let's go with white. Ah, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Really, dude? Let's go with, let's go with the yellow. Yeah, let's go with the yellow. It's my school colors. Yellow's my favorite color. You know, mom says it compliments my eyes. Let's go with that. 